here is an application of percent and this time we'll talk about discounts right who doesn't like discounts the question here is how much would a $55 shirt cost after discount of 30% so when the discount is of 40% 30% right let's say then what is the cost of the shirt so in this case discount means less amount less by 30% of the original amount so what is the discount here is 30% of 55 so we can write down like this discount is equals to 30% that is 30 over 100 times 55 correct and use calculator to calculate it so we have 30 divided by 100 times 55 and you get a value of 16.50 so it is 16.50 so that means this much less is to be paid to buy the shirt right so how much would this shirt cost after discount so it will cost 1650 less so it will cost how much 55 minus 1650 that is how you have to do these questions so we'll take away 1650 from 55 and then we get what we get 38.50 so it's in dollars let's write dollars 38.50 right so whenever you're talking about money that is dollars and cents round your answers to two decimal places right so we can write down our answer and that is cost of the shirt cost after discount equals to dollar 38 and 50 cents correct second question is very similar to this which is how much would a dollar 112 pair of shoe cost after a discount of 30 percent so the cost of a pair of shoe is dollar 112 now if you have a discount of 30 percent on this it is going to cost you much lesser that is what is key since it is going to cost you lesser you have to take away something how much 30 percent of 112 so first find discount just as we did right so first find discount so discount is how much discount is equals to 30 percent that means 30 over 100 of 112 and calculate so it is 30 divided by 100 and then multiply by 112 to get your price equals to 3360 so it is now if you have a discount of 3360 on 112 what is the cost being paid so you'll pay how much so the cost or it will cost you how much it will cost you 112 minus 3360 correct and that is let's take away 3360 from 112 and we get what we get 7840 so we get 7840 right so therefore the answer is you have to pay dollars 7840 now as you have seen in both these examples important thing is to find the discount that's the first step right and the second step is to deduct the discount from the cost so that you understand what is the discounted price okay so that is how these questions should be done so let's move on to the next level of questions from now and there we will have more than two steps to solve problems related to person thank you